being unemployed is so underrated and I'm going to tell you why. I was unemployed for six months and it changed my life and I want to share what happened within myself and why you need to be unemployed as well. Growing up, we're always told what to do. We need to go to school, we need to get a college degree, then get a job that will get us a lot of money so we eventually have a lot of freedom, but this is not how it works. You will end up getting burned out from work because you're not listening to your body. Your work should not control your life. You should be in charge of controlling your life and understanding what serves you and what doesn't. And it's totally fine to be unemployed for an extended period of time to figure things out and take the time with yourself because you will have a lot of time and not a lot of money so you will get creative and I'll tell you the three stages that I went through of being unemployed. Stage one feels like being on vacation. The first one to two weeks I was just chilled at home, relaxed, watching movies, all that kind of stuff until you reach a certain point because you don't have money and you can't go around to places like you do on vacation. So now you enter stage two, which means getting creative and working with what you got. So you might find books that you never finished reading that you're going to read. You might find different stuff in your space that you're like, I didn't even remember having this, but because you found it and now it's interesting or you're doing whatever you're doing, and that leads me to stage number three. After doing all that, you will probably end up being bored. And this is where the turning point happened for me. I was writing a lot of stuff, what I want for my future, what I want out of life. And I discovered like, I always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I never did. And I was so bored that I completely forgot about all the reasons why all these excuses to not start a YouTube channel because I was like, I'm feeling lonely at home. I want to do something. I want to do something that gets me closer to my goals. So I started this YouTube channel and I'm still working on my videos, which just shows how important it is. And if I was not unemployed, I would not be here working on my dream. And that is like an important lesson that everyone needs to hear. And because of this channel and working on myself and using this channel to work on myself and help others work on themselves too, I was able to learn so much in these couple of months way more than I learned working in a job and knowing how to write emails or whatever it is. While working full time, you don't have that much time to work on yourself, to build good habits, because you're probably just going to be exhausted coming back from work and knowing you have to do food, you need to clean, you need to do something for your mental health. It's just like too much because you get overwhelmed very easily and we tend to always do default things so our brain doesn't get like overstimulated so we end up not doing our new year's resolution because we feel like we don't have time we don't know how to manage our time and building all these small habits just takes so much time and i think you're only able to do that if you really have a longer period of time just by yourself being able to work on that and that helped me to clean my room to declutter my space I sold so much, I threw away so many things and I would have not been able to do all of that while working a full-time job. And it just changed my life. I was able to learn things about minimalism, how to be happy, how to be myself, how to see if I like a connection with a person or not. And also being able to let go of things, of people, of situations so I can actually grow. And this can be a very hard thing to learn, but we are only able to learn it if we have the time by ourselves and we use the time away from our phones and distracting ourselves to actually do the things that fulfill us and make us happier and it was just the best break that I could have ever taken and so many people told me to not do it and they were confronting me with all different kinds of fears they're like what if you don't find a job anymore and what if no one wants to employ you anymore because of the gap in your resume that's the thing there are always ways on how you can change your situation and if that means you temporarily have to work as a cashier somewhere to be able to find your dream job that's worth way more than being stuck in a job that you don't like going to and getting like different kinds of anxiety, being triggered all the time, feeling emotionally drained after work to not socialize anymore because your social battery is empty. So many reasons why I want to encourage you to make a bold decision because the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And that just applies to so many things. And of course we can fail, but failure is 
what makes us learn about a situation that we can approach differently in the future. And I just want you to know that it is never too late to change your life or to change anything about your life. If it means you having to quit your job and moving back in with your parents even though you're in your 30s or 40s, it's not as bad as it seems. Like in the beginning, like it might suck, but afterwards you're going to learn so many things. I know so many people that got laid off and all of them said it was the best thing ever. They were always too scared to quit, but their job giving them a layoff was like what was helping them get out of a toxic work environment even if they had to move in back with their parents. Like, of course, in the beginning, you're going to feel maybe ashamed for having to take a step back. It feels like a downgrade, but afterward, it's going to feel like an upgrade because you're going to learn so much from that. And there are so many different ways on how you can save money. And I was still getting paid being unemployed, but it was like half the paycheck. So it wasn't enough to actually go places but this is what helped me living with less money but actually being happier because I was doing things that were serving me and based on that what I learned I was able to apply to jobs only where I felt like this is going to be something where I'm going to be surrounded by people that I can learn things from just increase my skill set and even starting a new job can be so challenging so scary but it's so worth it doing it for your mental and physical health because that is all that we have. I hope you can take anything from this video. I hope you're going to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!